हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फोरम आर यू विलिंग टू पेंट योर होम इंटीरियर बट आर कंफ्यूज्ड विद द पेंटिंग टूल यू शुड गो विद वेदर इट इज अ ब्रश अ रोलर और अ पेंटिंग स्प्रे व्हिच वन इज द बेस्ट ऑप्शन फॉर यू व्हिच टूल यूजेस लेस पेंट व्हिच वन गिव्स द बेस्ट वॉल फिनिशिंग व्हिच वन गिव्स यू अ टेक्सचर्ड फिनिश एंड व्हिच वन आउट ऑफ दीस टेक्स मिनिमम टाइम टू पेंट सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल दीस थिंग्स इन डिटेल नाउ एट फर्स्ट we'll talk about paint brush this is our traditional tool using which we have been painting the walls since many years provides the best smooth finish compared to any other tool or technology painting brush if used correctly provides us with the best smoothest wall finish it is used to cut in and out of smaller and more detailed areas including trims corners and edges we can apply this at the smallest complicated areas any corner any edge can be painted with this brush for this different size of brushes are available we can use it as per requirement the next is it uses less paint as compared to a roller or a spray gun a paint brush utilizes minimum paint and covers the entire area next can be used in larger areas but it takes more time to paint we can use brush to paint larger areas in our home like walls and ceiling but it consumes comparatively more time this is the only limitation of using a brush this is because when you paint any surface using a brush you will have to again and again keep on dipping the brush in paint bucket because it covers very less area once dipped in the paint next it is difficult to use brush in making textures see it is not impossible to make textures using a brush but it needs highly skilled person with experience so obtaining it is not so easy Next we'll talk about rollers. The porous surface of the roller holds much more paint than a brush and distributes an even layer of the paint much faster. When we dip the roller in a paint bucket, its porous material absorbs the paint and when we press the roller against the wall and slide it, the paint will slowly and gradually come out and evenly be distributed on the surface. In this way, it covers more area than a brush and frequent dipping in paint bucket is not required in this case. and it saves over time then it can provide a smoother finish but not as good as a brush smooth finish of a brush is much better comparatively using a roller is not a big deal dipping the roller in paint bucket and rolling it over the surface that's it but using a paint brush needs skill better the skill leads to better finish and because since many years we have been practicing the use of brush people have mastered this skill and can provide you with the best finished surface then roller should be used in larger and flat areas like walls and ceiling this is because it takes very less time as compared to brush you cannot use it in small complicated area like corners and edges here only brush will work then roller can provide textured finish actually here any pattern is made on the roller as per choice Dipping the roller in paint bucket and using on wall will create an impression on the walls making the specified pattern. Obtaining such pattern on the walls and ceiling is not possible using a brush. Then roller uses little more paint compared to brush. See, but there will not be a major difference in the paint consumption. Actually, this may be because when applying rollers sometimes it may be pressed more than required so more paint might be wasted in that area. but as i said this difference might be very less now we'll talk about paint spray it provides a smoother finish with the fastest operation here too we get a smooth and even finish but the significant thing here is that the painting operation here is very fast as compared to brush and roller but it uses more paint the spray cannot be used to paint detailed areas these are the small complicated areas like corners and edges may not be painted with spray gun anyways this needs a brush things and places which are not to be painted needs to be covered here we need to be very careful spraying might spoil the areas and things which are not to be painted to cover these things will take time but ultimately it will save our time by quick application then we have needs accurate paint consistency in order to make this paint sprayable we need to decrease its viscosity that is we need to make it thin and for that thinner is added in an oil based paint and water is added in a water based paint this should be done efficiently to maintain same consistency in paint every time next is they do come with the problem of overspray sometimes spray intensity might change from one spray to other 
So if we change the machine from the middle of anything, then overspraying might be the problem. Or even if the consistency is not maintained, then again overspraying might be there. So even this is not easy as seen. Now at last we'll be talking about the concluding remark. Cover all the edges, corners and complicated areas by brush. Use roller or spray for ceiling and walls. For faster operations, you can use spray, but it may be little costly. So friends, this is all for today. I hope this video was useful for you. If this is so, do hit the button and don't forget to subscribe my channel, Civil Engineering Forum. Thank you for watching.